Hey guys, I hope everyone's doing well today. Um, I haven't uploaded a video in a while, but I had a little time today to do so, so I decided to do that. Um, this is going to just be a, a, a video to end cap monitorize. All right, sit tight, let's do it. All right, one of the first things you want to do, it's still kind of like before, you ask the examiner, would you like for me to chalk the wheels? They're going to tell you yes or no, but in my opinion, I feel you guys should always chalk your wheels. All right, I'm now entering the cab with three points of contact. So you'll do just that. Get in, three points of contact, and have a seat behind the wheel. The first thing you want to do is knock out your safety equipment. So with that being said, up above me right here, I have extra fuses right here on the floor in front of me. I got a fully charged rated and dated fire extinguisher that's properly mounted secure right here on the floor in front of me. Underneath my back seat, I got three red bi-directional reflector triangles. That's underneath the back seat. Then I'm gonna look down right here in front of me and I'm gonna knock out my city horn and I'm gonna knock out my air horn. <clears throat> At that point, I'm gonna look in front of me and I have glass there, right, which is my windshield. So my windshield is properly mounted secure. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged. There's no illegal stickers or obstruction will block my view. It's clean and it's in good condition. Then I'll knock out my left and my right side view mirrors or my trafficking monitor devices, right? They're properly mounted secure. They're not cracked, broken, or damaged. There's no illegal stickers or obstructions that will block my view. They're clean and they're adjusted to me. So once I've done that, <clears throat> it's not too much that I can talk about without the truck needing to be on, right? So with that being said, I'm gonna cut my key to the on position. I'm gonna knock on my ABS light. My ABS light came on, it went out, which in the case that it works. My def tank works, or my def tank gauge, I'm sorry, reads, uh, it's working and it reads I got a full tank of def. Even, does, even though it doesn't say I have a full tank of def, I'm still going to just say that, all right? Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna fully start the vehicle. All right, I'm gonna go to my primary and secondary gauges and knock them out. My primary and secondary gauges are building up to the governor cutoff of 120 to 140 PSI. My particular truck cuts out at 140. So wherever your truck cuts out at, that's what you need to tell them. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna knock out my windshield wipers before I get too far into my end cap. My windshield wiper arms and blades are properly mounted secured. The arms are not cracked into broken. The blades are not worn, torn, or frayed, and it smoothly wipes the windshield. Also, my windshield cleaner sprays evenly. It works correctly as well. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna jump back into my dash right here. My left turn signal works. Make sure you point at this stuff, guys. My right turn signal works. My four-way flasher works. My low beam works. And also, my high beam works, all right? At this time, I'm gonna take the time just to scan my cab, just to make sure I ain't forgetting anything. Everything looks pretty tight. Um, so I'm gonna proceed to move forward. My defrost works and my heat works on all settings or either all speeds, whatever one you choose to use. All right, now, with that being said, it's time to do my tug test. With my primary and secondary gauges at the governor cutoff of 120 to 140 PSI, when I proceed with my tug test. However, I don't remember hearing my sneeze, my assistant, the examiner is going to tell you, sure, go ahead, and that's what you're going to do. You want to assist it until you hear that sneeze. You're not really for sure you had governor cutoff until you hear that sneeze. All right, so let's get it done. I'm going to fan it down to about 100. I'm going to hit my accelerator pedal and bring it back up until I hear the sneeze. my sneeze i really couldn't hear it over that the roaring of the engine but i know i i kind of heard it right just make sure you hear it right we don't want you to fail or lose a point because you didn't hear that sneeze so now that i'm at the governor call up first thing i'm going to do i'm going to tug against my tractor by releasing my trailer brake so i'm going to do just that push in my trailer brake so i can tug against that tractor put it in drive and give it a tug all right that was successful now i'm going to tug against my trailer brake by releasing my tractor brake give it a tug all right, that was successful. That brake is holding as well. Once I get done, I put the, the knobs back where they belong, put the truck back in neutral, and set my feet flat on the floor. Now I'm gonna explain to the examiner my service brake test. I'm gonna pull forward no more than five miles an hour, apply my foot to the brake, come to a complete stop, and make sure the vehicle didn't pull to the left and it didn't pull to the right. I explained that successfully. Next part of the test is what they call the air brake test. I gotta jump right back in here to this primary and secondary gauge. All right, so my primary and secondary gauge need to be at the governor cutoff of 120 to 140 PSI. My particular truck is governor cutoff at 140 in order to do my air brake test. So I see my, my gauge is rising. So I'm just gonna ask, can I assist it? They're gonna say yes. I'm gonna put my foot on the gas and make it, make it sneeze real quick. I 
think I heard that. All right, so now I'm at the sneeze. I'm at the governor cutoff. Well, I heard the sneeze and I'm at the governor cutoff. First thing I'm gonna do is three things you do, guys. Engine off, cut the key to the warm position. You know the key is in the warm position where you see all this stuff start lighting up and moving around, so on and so forth. And then push in both your valves. All right. The next thing you do, you're gonna tell the examiner, I'm now gonna apply my foot to the brake for one minute. In one minute, I will not lose no more than four PSI. Will you time me? They're gonna say yes, but go to the brake and not till then. All right, so now you gotta wait for them to tell you you got to go ahead and move forward. They may wait a whole minute, they may not, but as soon as they say time, you wanna point at this primary and secondary gauge and simply say, as you can see, I didn't lose no more than four PSI in that minute. I'm now gonna fan my brakes down to 55 PSI and I'm gonna get a warning line buzzer. <laughs> When that happens, you simply just tell the examiner, there's my warning light and buzzer. I will continue to fan my brakes down to 40 PSI, at which point both these valves, they're gonna pop out. So I'm gonna make that happen. And make sure they both pop out. All right, they both have popped out. That completes my end cab inspection. I'm now gonna do a safety start. And I'm gonna ask the examiner to help me check my lights. That's gonna be my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my four-way flashers, my high beams, my low beams, my clearance lights, my tail lights, and my brake lights. And that's how you do your end cap inspection, guys. All right, thanks for watching. 100, see you in the next one.